sports in Florida. I'm gonna show you. I'm saying, I'm, what this is what I. What do you want us to? What do you want us to? I done said four things, and you have not heard none of it because you ain't listening to understand. You're listening to rebuttal. I'm not listening to you. I'm dealing with this brother because he has understanding. All right. I'm dealing with a brother that can listen. We cannot dial if you keep cutting me off and asking me five different questions. You're an Israelite. Right, That's right. what you are. You're an Israelite. 
we forgot our nationality in slavery. If I asked you your nationality, you would say what? Black African or African American. That's not who we are. I said Native American. We lost it. You would say Native American, but the Native Americans who were here that we call Indians, what's their nationality? You don't know my Yes, I, that, that would be Gad, Reuben, and Kali. That's their original name. That's what they got here. I'm going to show you this. Now, give me this in the in 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 Read this. The book of 2nd Andrew, chapter 13, verse 40. How did, how did those natives come to this land? We're going to read out of the Bible how those natives got here. Because prior to them coming here, there was nobody here. The natives didn't just, what? They, didn't, they wasn't just born here. They came here first. Brother, what, are you, what are you I, trying you to prove? You keep asking the same, what am I trying to prove? What are you trying to prove? Ask him that. Jesus and God. Ask I mean, him like, what, what are you trying to prove in the what, hole? What, what, ask him that. Yeah, I'm, what saying, I'm asking you. I'm saying, what are you trying to prove in I the keep, hole? I keep showing you the same thing. Jesus and the God. Your nationality is not native. Your nationality is an Israel. I'm saying, That's one trying, thing that I'm trying, trying to prove. The other thing that we're trying to prove is that this is sin. The audio what's going on right now is sin. The other topic we're going to prove is that to we to must us. repent as a nation of people and keep God's commandments. Right. That is what that is the moral of the story. Okay, At the end we, of the day, okay, we okay. must repent from our sins, right. to come, come, completely stop all the foolishness that we're doing and keep God's Lord, commandments. Eyes, you know, now watch this. Hey, Please. what are you trying to prove? This is the book of Second Andrews, chapter 13, people. verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own so who was carried away prison? What time that. period is this? I understand that. What time period is this? Who, who's in the It depends on what they've been trying to go through. It depends on what who they made prisoners to go no, through that war. That doesn't, doesn't depend on that. Well, what does it depend, it depend on, on? Who was in rulership during this time? Uh, I don't know. This is from Ezra's time. So this is, from, this is the this is the wrong, this is the Persian Median captivity. Cyrus was king. Cyrus was the king during this time. Okay. So what did he do when he was king? He gave the Israelites who were in captivity under him the authority to go back to their land in Jerusalem. That's right. But so, all of us did not go back to Jerusalem. That's right. Some of us came to this land right here. Okay. This and proves what? who was on this land. The people that we call native, this proves this how they got here. So, so you gotta listen, that's what you gotta do. So what's wrong Please. with being native? In the time of Osea the king. Osea is Cyrus the king. Read. Yeah, who? Salamanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. So when we was so carrying them over, no, 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 I got, I got to explain it, but you ain't telling about that's nothing. That's you, you, see that's you see this right here? This is, this is us coming, oh, no, this is us coming across the waters. When we come across the waters, he carried us into another land. Read that just that part again. Boom! Salmanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captain. Who was the king during this time? I'm gonna show you you ain't paying attention. Who was the king? Read it again. Who? Salmanazar, the king of Assyria. He was the king of what? Assyria. Read. Led away captive. Who did Assyria lead captive? The Israelites, correct. And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. So now they come into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So when did that, did they, if you're in slavery, could you just decide to leave? No. So Cyrus gave them the authority. During this time, he gave them the authority to do what? Go back to their land. But I gotta finish the point. I gotta finish the point. I said, what are you, what are you telling us? Deuteronomy, we believe in Jesus. Deuteronomy is That was Egypt. That was the, that was the prior captivity, which was Egypt. Right? Now we're talking. We're in a different captivity. What I'm showing you is that the Israelites have been going into captivity after captivity after captivity. I, you know what? I'm gonna deal with you because you have you been drinking. He just wants the underlying meaning. He just wants the underlying meaning. That's what he's saying. I seen the. I seen y'all over there. So I've been seeing y'all over there by CBS for a long time. First Corinthians 14:4. I'm gonna show you. I'm saying this is what. What do you want us to? What do you want us to? I don't said four things and you have not heard none of it because you ain't listening to understand. You're listening to rebuttal. I think he wants the underlying meaning that you guys are saying. I just said it. Brother, that we, that, that, we, we, that our brother, nation, brother, our nationality is what? Our, our, uh, With Israelites. That's one. 
that we must stop doing what as a people? We must stop seeing. So you heard me say this. It's, it's not me. It's him. You don't get it. High holy days. Yes, like today is the way. Today is the Sabbath. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we rest? Yes, just, we, we, we're resting right now. Okay. We're resting right now. But our job is to do the Lord's work. We got to teach our people. About who? You mean like tabernacles and the feast of dedication? Yeah, we, keep, we just celebrated tabernacles two weeks ago. So what do you guys do on those? You guys we keep, No, we, we keep the, the seven-day feast. Okay. All right. I'm just curious. Yeah. yeah. And when Passover comes, we keep the seven day feast. When atonement comes, we fast, yeah. and then we keep, we keep the feast. Okay. Sabbath day, we keep the feast. We follow everything this book says so, to the T. Okay. What about right. to the T? Um, the new moon, to the T. Like the to full the moon or new moon? Got, is that a it's the full moon? moon. It's okay. the full moon. The full Sabbath. moon is the Sabbath. new moon. No, it's not the Sabbath. No, no, no. Every seven days is a Sabbath. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Hey, so the moon cycle, is that a it does cycle. Well? So, yeah, when the moon cycles, yeah. it's full, right? When you first start, it's yeah. full. It goes on a cycle, yeah. and then it becomes full again. That becomes the new moon, which is a new month. Yeah. All right? No, I need a reader. I need a reader. You got to be on. I need you to be on. I know it's off topic. But some states. You just celebrated what? I mean, what's the last one? New moon. New moon, yeah. The new moon was when? What was the new moon? It was last Sunday? Yeah. Last Saturday. Yeah. After, after Saturday, after Saturday, last week was a new moon. I'm going to show you the cycles of the new moon. You know this Sirach 40? Hey, brother. Yeah. Sirach chapter 43, verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season. So you see, the moon has a purpose. When he made the moon, was it dark? No. If how, so how do you know there was a moon if it was dark? So he, when he made the moon, it was what? It was light. That's why when he says in, in Genesis that there was two great lights that he made. The one he called the rule of the day, the second one he called the rule of the, rule of the night. I'm not listening to you. I'm dealing with this brother because he has understanding. All right? I'm dealing with a brother that can listen. We cannot dial if you keep cutting me off and asking me five different questions. Right now, we're dealing with the new moon. Is the new moon a feast day? I'm going to show you that it is. Read. For a declaration of time. The moon is for a declaration of time. It gives us a different, it shows us a different month. Every 30 days you get a what? A new moon. That's a new month. Like, how do we know when Passover comes in? Because he gave us the month of a bid. When things start to spring up, the begin, that's the beginning of the year. Do you guys believe like the spring is the actual new year? Not so Yes, yet. spring is the new year. Yeah. Nature tells us that. that makes sense. Right? Yeah. So let's read all. No, go back there. Hold that. Read that. In the sign of the world, from the moon, it's the sign of feast. It says the moon is a sign of feast. Every time the moon goes around, like when the moon goes around at the end of this month, the next month is going to bring in what feast day? The feast of dedication. It was the, the, the same uh, feast day that Christ kept. All right? And John. Won't read? A light that decreases. A light that decreases. So the moon starts as a big light, and then it starts to decrease. Come on. In her perfection. It decreases from its perfection and goes back into the perfection. It's going to say that. Read. The month is called after her name. It says the month. The word moon comes from the word month. It's called after her name. Read. Increasing. And do what? Increasing. So after it's full, it decreases, and then it does what? Wonderfully. No, again. Increasing. Then it gets dark. Very dark. And then it starts to light back up and increase again. Come on. Wonderfully in her changing. Being an instrument of the armies above. Shining in the firmament of heaven. That's how we know every new moon. All right, so it goes, it starts full, it goes around, then it comes back and it's full again. That's a new month. All right, so that's how we know tabernacles. This is how we know Sabbath day. So you said, is the new moon a Sabbath day? It is a Sabbath day. Give me that in uh, Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 1. I'm going to show you. God labeled all of the high holy days so that we would know them. But we don't know them because they're not taught in our society. They're not taught in our schools. They're not taught in our homes. Read. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, 
and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord. These are the feast of the Lord. Read. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. A holy convocation is a holy gathering. Yeah. Meaning you're supposed to be coming together as a body of a gathering under the law, statutes, and commandments of God on the feast day. Yeah. Read. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done. You're supposed to work for six days. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. That is a feast day. Read. In holy convocation, ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. So when you read all the way down through Leviticus 23, it's going to label feast days that, that we're to keep. If the moon did not show itself and then decrease from the month of Abib, we would not know the feast days. This is why in these last days, we're starting to get more knowledge and more information about the Bible that has not been taught on the earth. Because these are the days prophesied about when the Spirit of God will be poured out to young men. You don't see, give me that, you don't see old men. You don't see old men out here teaching the scriptures. Our old men, they trying to get some booty. They running around here tonight, they trying to get some booty. You see what I'm saying? They're not teaching our youth that are lost and scattered how to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Instead, somebody's going to get shot this weekend over homecoming. Somebody's going to get pregnant. Somebody's going to get raped. These things happen every single year, and our people do not take it into account. They don't take it into mind. We don't see this happening in nobody else's community except the black community. But we are against change. We think this is helping. This is hurting. Read what you got. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters. The sons, we're the sons and daughters. Because yeah. where, where are our parents at? Our parents didn't know this Bible and know this truth. They hauled us into church every Sunday, a shut job, past collection, put it around, put some money in it, and I'll, I'll look at our daughters. I look that. at our daughters. I I look, look, look at them. In the midst of all hell, in the midst of all sin. I would say it. I would say it because you don't know your nationality. Read. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. They shall do what? Prophesy. Where else do you hear the Bible being prophesied like this? You don't hear this on TV. Joel Osteen can't teach it. Sometimes uh, 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 Gino Jennings can't teach it. Crypto Dollar, T.D. Jake, they can't teach it. They're not out here on the hedges and in the hedges and highways giving that foul people trying to teach them who they are. It's only the Israelites. It's because if you will stop their pocket, you will stop their money. But this is what the Bible says that they should be doing. Read. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. What Crumble Dollar and T.D. Jakes? You ain't never seen them standing on those street corners. They are not the prophets of God. They have caused our community to be in the state of degradation that we're in right now. They are, we are destroyed as a people, and they continue to perpetuate the condition that we're in. Read it again. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them. The Bible says we must compel our people. Compel them. To come in. To come into this truth. Read. That my house may be filled that his house may be filled what is the nation nation is family nation is community nation is men leading by example nation is women's support nation is children with role models nation is unity nation is you